Ladies and gentlemen, KK m i r r welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is down pretty much flat there. On the SP Nasdaq, down about 0.3%, along with the semiconductor and Dow Russell 2000 did get hit a little bit harder. Transport down, banks flat. Ross、uh, Energy is up 4%, along with the utilities. These two guys、uh, seem to have i n v e r s e relationship. Uh, with other sectors of the market, biotech down 1.3%, healthcare down flat, home builders down about 3%. Same with the retail, emerging market down, Bitcoin down, gold, silver miners making a move today. They've been down a little bit last week. Oil slightly up, tre-、uh, oil, <laughs> dollar, dollar slightly up, oil up quite a bit, treasury bond down, VIX is down a little bit. Let's stick with this and be by 180. Yeah, Spider 65 minute chart. Here's So, this is where we closed on Friday and we opened up pretty much flat. It looks like on that first hour right out the gate, bulls went for it, trying to fill that down gap that was opened up in mid February. If you watch my video over the weekend, I stress the fact that the down gap must be filled. If the, as long as that down gap is open, bears are not going anywhere. Well, good news is that. For the bulls out there, that down gap has been finally filled. It took them over a month, but bulls were able to gap back up today and fill that down gap. And you guys know once that down gap gets filled, what happens? It's going to act as instant resistance, hence that shooting star candle. Now, in the second hour, though, bulls made a move. Back up to the upside. But remember, bulls are running on empty. They are tired. So you can see on the fourth hour, the third hour,、uh, a little bit of a hesitation there. And the fourth hour、uh, looks like a little jittery action to the downside. And then my micro term moving average is just right in that vicinity at 441 to support the buyers because that micro term moving average has been supporting the buyers in the last two weeks. Straight, which we want to talk about a little bit on the fifth hour sideways. Sixth hour looks like bulls are making another up move there, hence the、uh, in a flat day today. So, that short term moving average、uh, has been a die hard fan for the bulls as soon as、uh, we saw that gap up right here. And then you see that my micro term, micro term, micro term, and the micro term, and that 441. Is coinciding with the recent swing high. Remember, 441 is a level right here. And that level, I mean, that's the level where this market tanked for a couple days, as you can see here. That was early March. And that's the level where bulls utilize it, coinciding with my micro term moving average of 441.09. And that's the level we're holding. So, And I think, I think the longer buyers can hold above 441, the better it's gonna be. Remember how the buyers like to attack versus bears, right? Bears are very emotional beings, right? They're, they're very, 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 they like to work things fast and quick. However, bulls like to build things, right? Bulls like to take their time, consolidate, strategize, move inch by inch, and then they see the right timing and then they make a move, right? So, so buyers hanging around like this while the overall sentiment is kind of extended, it's just because you know how long we've been seeing this bullish rally, I have to say that's gonna favor the buyers. As long as we see a continuation move to the upside, break out, or continue to see a consolidation here. And obviously, if you're a bear, you don't like hearing that, right? You need to make sure to break below 441. However, my short term moving average is just residing at 436. And、um, that 436 level is pretty important level, as we talked about、uh, before. And I'm going to just actually move that a little bit, 437 or so. Just because you know that that's a prior,、uh, it's a pivotal level. I mean, that's a, that's a level. You can see that、um, all throughout last month or so, this market is a pivotal level where when we hit that level, it, it ch- the price changes direction, right? You can see even right here, make a move, trying to get back up, tanked, got back up, tanked, got back up, tanked. 
so 441 437 and we see that short-term moving average guarding that look even my short-term moving average starting to become pretty strong moving average because resistance resistance and then active support so we not only got the micro term moving average right here not only got 441 and 437 my short term moving average but i'll probably put it another line like right here um i you know just you gotta give some wiggle room i have to say 434 i think if bulls want to keep this momentum that has been built up last couple weeks right here and continue to make a move to the upside when i go after 450 455 460 these that band of support 440 437 435 as long as we're above that the reason why i put that 434 is because my midterm moving average the midterm moving average has been supporting the bears uh for this entire year we're talking january and february and march you can see here right and we've been talking about this impressive resume guy for the bears tanked here tanked and that moving average currently residing at 434 my short that's a midterm moving average my short-term moving average residing at 437 my micro-term moving average residing at 441 and all these levels are gonna be important and these are the levels that bulls are gonna utilize as new support to prop itself up to get up to fill that last known down gap this is the last one right we do not have any more down gaps remaining for the bears so this down gap is next level of a target for the bulls so i think filling this down gap is a big victory for the bulls at least in the short term but in the midterm of things i don't think bears probably gonna retreat retreat a little bit uh, at this level because bulls reclaim this level reclaim this real estate so bears gonna retreat a little bit you know the strong the mean bears but they're probably hanging around in this vicinity right here in this gap area so bears are still around little ones are dead the big ones are still around they're still they're gonna still protect this level and that's where the bulls are gonna go after keep in mind though in the short term of things we do have this slight cultivation of higher high but what about the midterm of things when the midterm benefit of the doubt still goes to the bears as of today because we're still in the vicinity of lower high yes or no that swing high that swing lower high is still higher than this one so what the bulls need to do is to get up and fill this gap kill that momentum and then cultivate that higher high pull back and then make its own uptrend you see until we see that happening we can't say this market is fully recovered let's check out the doctor and see if we can extract any more information so as if we uh anticipated it in my analysis over the weekend uh this thing is gonna curl back down because of this down gap was filled after the down gap gets filled it's gonna act as instant resistance and with that we are seeing that oscillator coming down however you can see the price is moving sideways so what we're seeing is consolidating through time and bulls love doing this bulls love doing that while the oscillator comes down at price sideways resets and then when the price you know oscillator is getting ready to get back up that's when it breaks out keep in mind though that's not how it has been this entire time right we see oscillator come down tankage occurs oscillator comes down tankage occurs oscillator comes down tankage occurs right there's something different about just today though i mean things can change tomorrow but if the bulls can hang around above 440s while the oscillator resets we haven't seen that kind of price action this entire uh selling pressure we've been uh being part of since start of this new year of 2022 bulls want to see the new all-time highs and beyond they must face the final boss which is at 460 that down get i'm gonna come back for you we'll reassess the situation enjoy your evening in blockchain tomorrow